Today, I'm going to show you how I grew herbs from seed in my apartment. By the end of this video, hopefully, you'll have the know-how and a little battle plan drawn up on how you can grow your own culinary herbs at home. And really the cool part about this is you don't need to be some sort of like garden aficionado or like a botany major to grow your own herbs. In fact, most culinary herbs grow super easy under the right conditions. If you have a container, some soil, and a spot that gets a fair amount of sun, you'll be able to grow your own herbs. So make a small time commitment, put a tiny bit of effort in, and by the end of it, you'll be reaping the rewards of fresh herbs on demand all summer long. So what do you say we get to play? Planted. To get started, we're going to need a container, soil, and herb seeds of choice. We're going to germinate the seeds, or in other words, allow them to sprout directly in the container. I'm using an inexpensive rectangular planter that I got at a hardware store because I'm going to hang my herbs over my railing in my back porch area, but you can use a regular pot if you have that too. I'm planting with container soil because I'm planting in a container. Dump the soil into the container, leaving two to three inches of room on the top. Just get that all nice and even like. I like to break up the larger dirt chunks, but this probably is not necessary. I just like a smooth top layer of soil. Okay, so not to confuse anyone, but long story short, one of my three herb packets never arrived in the mail for this video. I was supposed to plant three separate herb types, but I only had the seeds for two. You will notice in the first part of the video there are two planted areas, then I end up with three at the end. Uh, this doesn't really change any of the information presented in the video, but I thought I'd clear that up. Anyways, here I am dividing the planter up into three areas with string and tape. Each area will contain a different herb. And I like to plant herbs that aren't regularly available at most large grocery stores. Like, I can always walk into the store and buy some parsley cilantro or rosemary, but herbs like lovage, sorrel, chervil, most of the time, those aren't always available, so I like planting them. But it's your garden, plant whatever you want. Once soiled up and divided, it's time to plant the seeds. I'll show you how I do it using this little simple diagram. Each section will have three small holes that will house two of our herb seeds. It'll look like there are three triangle shapes in the planter if you're using one like mine. We do this so that the herbs have enough space to grow, but also to ensure that at least one of the herbs makes it past the awkward teenage stage and glows up into adulthood. Those are our little chervil seeds, and these are lovage seeds. Use a finger to lightly dig a half inch hole into the soil, drop two seeds, then lightly cover them back up with the dirt. Surprisingly, many seeds don't need sunlight to germinate, but once they sprout, they do, so just make sure to read up on your seeds. It's also not a bad idea to label your herbs, like you'll know which one is which when they're all grown up, but I like to do this at the first stage of life. Another important thing is to make sure that the soil is always moist. A moist environment is best for baby seeds. I find that the best way to do this is with a spray bottle, but you can just water them if you don't have one. To ensure that the soil stays moist and insulated, I like to cover the top. I find that plastic wrap is the best tool for the job. Once planted, watered, and covered, we can take our herbs inside to germinate. Depending on the seed and the environment, it takes about a week for the seeds to pop out of the soil and germinate. If your seeds take longer, just be patient, it'll happen. Make sure their environment is moist and just let it do its thing. Keeping the seeds near warmth helps them germinate faster, just be sure not to put them somewhere too hot. Once the herbs sprout, I like to keep them in a bright windowsill. After the herbs sprout and begin to grow leaves, it's time to do what's called hardening. Hardening a plant is the act of exposing a plant to the outdoors little by little until it's strong enough to live outside full time. Once your little herbies have three separate leaves, take the entire planter outside and leave it out there for one hour, then bring it back in. The following day, do the same thing but leave it out there for three hours, and the next day the entire day. Finally, on the fourth day, leave the entire planter outside overnight. Once the herbs have spent a brisk night outside, they'll be ready to move out for the season. Keep in mind that hardening should only be done when it's relatively warm out. My people in cooler climates should make sure that there's been a chain of at least a few nights above 60 degrees Fahrenheit is a good safe spot. You know, frost could kill the little guys, so be careful. Yeah, so I started the germination process somewhere in late May and ended and put things outside somewhere in late June, so the entire thing took about a month. There are always exceptions to the rule, but most herbs like a lot of sun, so read up on what your herbs need and take care of them that way. When picking a spot for your new herbs to live, keep in mind that it's usually most sunny in south-facing areas, followed closely by east-facing ones. So this is a total cute little Fisher Price garden setup, but that's really all you need to grow your own herbs. You can let this sort of be a starting point to push off from, you know, see if you enjoy the process, and if you do, plant more next year. Shout out to my mom for helping Sherpa me through this germination and planting process. My mom's been an avid gardener since before I was in existence and has a pretty badass garden of her home, so mom, love you, thank you so much. And I know there are probably hundreds, uh, perhaps thousands of better ways to do this, but I found that this process was uh, super effective and yielded exactly kind of what I needed and what was perfect for my space. I hope this video has you amped to go make your own little herb setup. And as usual, if this video did help you out or inspired you in any way, I would appreciate your value 
validation in the form of a thumbs up or if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And if you have any further questions, the best way to get through to me is probably via DM on my Instagram. So hit me up on the gram if you have any questions. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for watching and I will see y'all next week. So toodles. Thank you.